Yo, New York made me feel like the most insignificant nobody in the most horrifying yet inspiring way. It was like my first time watching Cosmos where I had no idea that Earth was so tiny. And Neil zooms out so you can see the entire observable universe and made me feel like a grain of sand in my entire existence is just a blink. Cars, beeps, yells, screams, everybody's moving, everybody's hustling, but is it enough? Can you even escape that grind? Is it worth it? Or do you lose sight of being alive? As an artist, as a creative, as someone that just wants to be heard, if you can't tell, someone that just wants to express themselves, being drowned out by all the noises, all the sounds, all the ideas, all the grind, all the obstacles, there is a fuel in that to rise above that, to stand out even more. It makes me feel like I'm teetering that fine line between creating my reality and living insanity. But that's why I love it. The fears, the doubts, the money, the struggle, the, the winters? It feels like everybody's fighting and clawing and trying to get to the top. And I can see getting lost in that hustle where your head is down so much you accidentally get off your path. But that's the fun part. If you could keep that head down mentality while staying on your path, that's the challenge. That's where the fear comes. Where am I even going? What am I even doing? That mental warfare. So the question is, are you willing to live in that unknown? Getting over obstacle after obstacle, not knowing if it'll ever end, not knowing if you're going the right way. Way, not knowing if it'll lead to anything. Will you let the city suffocate you or will you use that tension to increase your energy and raise your vibration? The beach is great too. Though. It's calmer. It's a lot serene. You can breathe. Um. <sighs> Thank you.